Good afternoon, everyone. I'm here to walk you through the Shed Haulers Brotherhood mobile application and demo some of the features that will be coming soon to your new app. So for the purpose of the demo, you can put any characters in here for the username and password. And once they sign in, the main page here is going to be a list of all of the jobs that are associated to your hauling company and to the driver. So they're sorted out of here by the ones that are currently active, i.e. the ones that you'll be doing today or in the near future. Scheduled would be ones that are further out and recently completed. These are all uh, swipeable here to go through the various jobs that are available. And then we'll go click on one of these in a minute to see the details for each of those jobs. You'll see this color code throughout the system and the blue is for standard delivery. Uh, yellow is for retrieving sheds and red is for extreme or repossessions. Here in the upper left hand corner, you will also see a navigation uh, button. You can also pull from the left side of your screen over to access this menu. So we'll come back to some of these other screens here in just a minute. So let's go dive into one of the jobs. We're gonna take a look. You'll have a bunch of the details for this particular job here on the main screen. And um, several of these areas are clickable. So for instance, if I click on the address for the pickup location, it will pull that address up in my mobile application or excuse me, in, in the default maps application in my phone. Similarly for the drop off address and if you need to contact the person at the site, it will also pull up your, your phone so you can call that individual. Here we have some information details about the uh, company who has requested this job. Under the shed area, you'll see some details about the shed. Obviously, these images are not for these this details, but it's just some generic images I use for the demo. Now, for the uh, few other things, the main two buttons here, the pickup and the drop off, this is where you'll be putting in the information for the pickup. And so you can add, you know, there was like, let's say there was a, a tear in wood on front door. So you can add some details for um, what the condition was, if there were any contents, uh, yes, the boxes. Um, if there are any fees that you want to apply to this particular job, you can say, you know, there's pickup fee, permit fee, et cetera. You can apply any of those to the pickup here. And then right here, we'll be able to um, select an image. And I'm just here in the office. Here I am. And so we'll just take a picture of my JJ's cup. And then there you'll see the image. Um, so you can get image capture images on site of when you're doing the pickup. If you uh, close out, it will prompt you just so you don't accidentally lose information. And then when you're ready to save, um, it will finish that information. Another thing I wanted to show you here too is that um, for the purpose of the job, uh, you can also go to a map view and it will show the, the locations for the pickup and drop off. Oops, sorry, I went too far there. All right, and on the drop off button, this will uh, allow you to also indicate, you know, I needed 11 cinder blocks for this drop off, any additional information you needed to add. Um, the invoice now button will allow, um, it will send an invoice to the customer as soon as the job is completed. And similarly here, we're, we're able to take images and save those on the job as you're dropping the shed off. So I'm gonna get out of this job just so I can go show you some other cool features. So another place you can come take a look at the jobs is you can actually see the jobs that you have um, in a more calendar view. So in here, the jobs that are scheduled for you, um, they'll all be listed down here, but these will also be clickable up in the calendar area because uh, this is a demo that most of the events listed here on the calendar are just placeholders for you to see what, what it would look like. Um, the week uh, will also give you a little bit 
larger, uh, excuse me, a little more drill down if you have a bunch of different jobs within a given week. Uh, if you go to the day view, it will drill down even down to the hour. Um, so that'll give you a good layout of your to-do list. If you're in need of some work, if you wanna pick up some additional jobs, you can come here to the job search and you'll be able to type in and look for uh, jobs based off of you know, any of the key in information. So, and then from the uh, job search area, you'd be able to come into that job and look at the information and then bid for uh, put that job, um, reserve it so that you are the hauler uh, who will be taking care of that shed movement. If you have the need to create a private job, um, this is not, uh, this would be something that's just to you, the hauler, and you're not picking up a job from another company, a, a manufacturer, an RTO company. You can come in here and keep track of your private jobs in the system as well. One of my favorite features in the app is uh, the map overview area where you'll be able to um, take a look at jobs. There'll be um, these pinpoints for all the different types of jobs um, in your area. You'd also be able to see uh, haulers um, as you're trying to find, um, find them in your region and uh, cinder blocks. Those uh, cinder blocks, if you um, are going to have cinder block tracking and keep you know an idea of where some cinder blocks are available and what price near the drop-off location for your job. Under shed siding, there are a few other key features. So if you see a shed out in, in the field and you're uh, you know want to track and put this information in so that other companies can find their missing sheds and be able to put in the unit number you see on the actual shed. It will use the current location for um, where you are. If, if, if you are putting that information in after the fact, you'll be able to put the address. And then again, you'd be able to put um, an image if you want for that shed. So it gives you an idea of um, then save it so that hopefully the other companies can find their missing sheds. Under invoices, you will be able to come in and see all the jobs that you've done in the past and kind of the status of those invoices. So we've got, you know, a few of them have been invoiced, it's the blue, and there's been a couple of them that have already been paid. And then there's one here that's overdue. Uh, these ready ones are the ones that uh, you still need to send the invoice to the customer. So I'll allow you to, to really keep track of things on the go. And last little area here is a little spot where you can find haulers uh, that are nearby and send them messages. Um, if you want to, you know, meet up for lunch, um, just say hi. So you'll be able to see other haulers that are near you. All uh, right, now the uh, messaging isn't work, uh, isn't functional, but you know this is where you would come to see those drivers and then be able to message them. So. That's a very quick overview of the application, and I hope you find it helpful um, this demo so that you can manage your shed hauling business more efficiently. Thank you.